insane. Like, no way. I have to be so quiet right now because I'm doing this so early. Um, but there's faint lines. Oh my god. There's like, no way. I'm like so shaky right now. I'm trying to be so quiet. I didn't like think to film it because I didn't think anything would happen. Oh my god, I'm like shaking like no way. I saw it on like the little, I saw it on this desk. And then it came up on this one. They're like 100% positive. But I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. I'm gonna test again. Hopefully the one will be darker. All right guys, so it's now the next morning. I had to go all day knowing I had those positive tests because I still haven't told Gino and I had to wait until he just left to go to work to finally retest to see if my lines are getting darker. Um, I feel really nervous right now, like kind of like that sick nervous feeling just because of my history of miscarriage and the fact that I just am in disbelief that, you know, this is actually real. Like, I did not expect that yesterday. That's why I didn't pick up the camera and film it because I really was not expecting it whatsoever. So I was only able to get that small glimpse of a video. You couldn't even see the tests because, you know, they were so light, but they were definitely positive. But, um, I'm gonna test with a digital and then obviously I'm gonna test with the other first response to see what happens. I'm actually testing with second morning urine because it just looks, um, it looks too diluted. I mean, I did drink water before I went to bed and like I felt like I had to pee all night. So, but this one obviously <laughs> like looks darker. This is just like insane. I cannot believe everything I've gone through like I went through three failed IUIs they were obviously all medicated and then I just took Clomid and we had timed intercourse and to think that it worked without spending nearly as much money is just absolutely sickening but I feel like you see that happen all the time with people that are going through infertility I'm gonna set a timer for, I'm just gonna do five minutes for now, even though it's technically three. And then I'll look at it then. Okay, covered it. Now this one, I'm not expecting much out of it, but when I was pregnant with Miwa, I'm 10 days past ovulation, by the way, um, and I got my positive on nine days past ovulation but when I was pregnant with Mila I actually got a positive digital at 10 days past ovulation so if this comes up positive I'm gonna tell Gino today because I just you know obviously it feels like it's just that much more real when it's on this kind of test Now we wait. Um, I definitely have that feeling that I'm gonna see these tests be positive, but also at the same time, I, oh my God, I feel sick even like thinking about it if something were to happen, but it's, I don't know. I don't know what to think. Okay, so there they are sitting for, I think I had like four minutes left or so. Three minutes left and we'll see. Okay, um, I guess I'll show the clear blue at first. I hope this actually will focus because I can't see it. No way, like, this is on, oh my god, I can't breathe right now. I literally can't breathe right now, like. I did not expect to see that. It, oh my god, I'm like 
shaking so bad right now. Okay, all right, let me look at the first response. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I hope it's in focus and I hope you guys can see something. Oh my god, that got so much darker. I'm like, I really have no words right now. Like, that got so much darker. Like, you can definitely see that. That is a line. And I'm only... 10 days past ovulation. Holy shit, like this actually worked. Oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna need like the rest of this day to really take this in because there's a million things going through my head right now between what we went through this entire year and even my past. And it was confirmed that I have factor two, so I'm pretty nervous. I know I have to go on blood thinners almost immediately just in case anything were to happen. Um, but I am taking baby aspirin. Um, I'm gonna go call my doctor as soon as they open and get some blood work and hopefully because this is the week of New Year's Eve I hope I can at least get my blood drawn twice but I have a feeling it's only gonna be once um, if you're going through infertility right now and you clicked on my video I can't give any more advice than to just keep trying and trying and trying and don't give up because throughout this journey I've had Multiple people tell me to just stop, take a break. I mean, you can take a break if you wanna take a break, but when I took a break last month, I feel like I felt the absolute worst. But, and I know it can be completely discouraging each time you have a failed cycle and each time it feels like a part of you dies inside and it feels like it's just never going to happen but I really truly believe in just keep trying and trying and trying and seriously just don't give up. I, the same thing happened with Mila. Like when we kept having miscarriages, we both agreed we're like, we're not giving up at all. Like this is not happening. And if we would have gave up and took breaks and everything like everyone said to do, we would have never had her. If I took more breaks, like a three month break, six month break, like everyone was telling me, I probably wouldn't have got pregnant this cycle and what's more crazy like my doctor really was pushing for me to get the the surgery because he said you know there could be a blockage inside of you but I just felt inside me that that wasn't my problem I have a new type of progesterone now and we also waited for my body to release the egg versus getting the trigger shot, which I really feel like made a huge difference. So I can't stress enough to just follow really what you feel because I did a few things different this cycle and now I'm obviously definitely pregnant and it's just insane. And I'm gonna share that in another video, what I did different. I don't know if it truly helped or maybe it really just was our time, but my heart really does go out for everyone that's still struggling and I really hope this kind of video doesn't make you feel worse. Um, but this is just absolutely insane. I can't believe it. Like I really felt like my body was forever broken and that I would never ever see something like this ever again. I still really had no answers as to what was going on with my body, but, and, this still truly wasn't completely natural because I took 150 milligrams of Clomid, so I still had the help of medication. But 
please just send good vibes my way that nothing happens to this baby and that we, you know, get to finally see this baby in the end of all this because I really am scared. I, I feel the miscarriage fear already coming back. Um, I really never shared my miscarriage stories with you guys, which I really think I should, but it is just hard to talk about and really triggering for probably a lot of people. But um, yeah, this is, this is just absolutely insane. Like, I did not think that this would happen. So guys, you can see here, this was the one from yesterday. You can like see it kind of, but barely. And then this is today. Like it, my HCG definitely doubled. Um, but I'll keep everyone posted on, oh my God, I'm like out of breath. Like this is, this feels obviously unreal. I'll keep everyone posted on my blood work, how everything goes. Just make sure that you subscribe so you're just kept up with all of my updates. Um, and I really hope in some way that my journey helps you. And I really hope that you achieve your goal in conceiving and just please never give up.